Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your December reading with me, Elizabeth. I hope that you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, I'm so excited. You are my last... Um, you're my last reading uh, for the month of December, so thank you for your patience. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for all of your love and support. It truly means the world to me. If you're new to this community, I welcome you as well. And for everyone, please hit the thumbs up button. If you like what you see and you hear, it really does help the algorithms. It helps me get my messages out more uh, easily to the YouTube community. So, all right, Gemini, let's ring the bell and then we will call in the energies. All right, so as always, I call in the divine with love and with light. And let's call in the archangels at the four corners of the world. The six elements, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether. Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides, and Guardian Angels. And since I'm coming to you from Sedona, Arizona, let's call in the Galactic Energies, Galactic Star Brothers and Star Sisters of the Highest Love and Light to join us. I'm going to start with a crystal message. Even though I have the tarot in my hand, that's interesting. I guess they just needed a few extra shuffles. So let's get you a crystal message to start your reading. I've got two different tarot decks and a whole bunch of oracle cards for you. So thank you, Spirit. Please help me guide my beautiful Geminis. If you're cross-watching for a special Gemini, the messages may actually be for you. For everyone, feel free to swap around the energies. All right. Highest and best message for Gemini for the month of December. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. go. Nice. Nice, Gemini. Uh, you have an angel with you, and this is your element of air. You see around the border there. That's the etheric. That's air. And we get celestite with message. So um, let me show you a piece of celestite. Celestite connects you to the angelic realms. So here we have celestite with an angel that's bringing you messages this month. So you're definitely connecting with spirit. Your guardian angels are with you. Your angels, uh, your spirit guides are with you. So really know that, okay? You have extra potent messages this month. At the bottom of the deck, you can't make this up. Taurus had the same... Um, I just finished Taurus's reading and they had the same card at the bottom of their deck. So it's something about this zero point energy of everything converging into this one moment in time. It's a very powerful time that we're moving through. So let's move over to the Moonology Manifestation and see what cycle you are in. So thank you, Spirit. Highest and best message for Gemini for the month of December. Ooh, first quarter moon in Leo. So you get fire energy. Uh, be humble. And the first quarter moons are about our opportunity. So I'm feeling like uh, from this from this message, the, these two energies together with the angel and then the Leo energy, there is this sense of inspiration that's with you. Creativity, inspiration. Uh, you could be feeling like this sense of pride within yourself. Uh, you know, you're getting all of these messages. So there is this sense of humility that's also required to like really hear spirit. Um, also, I'm feeling like this is um, about your nobility as well. It's like a, a humbleness, a nobility. It's uh, Leo can be very boisterous. I have a Leo moon and a Leo rising. So you may be like uh, in the spotlight this month with that Leo energy. People are really seeing you. Um, and and spirit is really seeing you and you're surrounded by very powerful energies. Leo, the lion, it's fiery, it's passionate, uh, it likes to be seen, um, you know, all of that. So, and there's also this quality of the angelics that are with 
you. So I love that message for you to be humble. This could also be other people around you. You know, perhaps you're sort of helping people to kind of tame their own inner beast. Your energy is very soothing to other people's ego. So if you are dealing with some other people's egos this month, your energy may be very soothing to them. And at the bottom of the deck, we get your energy, the full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. And that is, um, the, here we see the twins and it's your energy that's at the bottom of the deck. So you're coming up very strongly here, all of this air energy. All right, so let's move on to the tarot. I'm using the Crystal Visions uh, by Jennifer Galasso. I'm not gonna take this jumper because the deck was upside down. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Please help me to guide my Geminis for the month of December. Highest and best messages for the Gemini Collective for the month of December. What does Gemini need to know the most? Please help me guide Gemini. What is this month bringing? All right, so we have this one jumper. We're going to take it. We see the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so that's love, commitment, higher love, union, family with the Six of Wands. Yes, there's this Leo energy. And this is what I was feeling from that card. You're being seen this month. Uh, you're in the spotlight. You're being recognized by your peers, uh, by your family, inside of your partnerships. There, People are really celebrating you. You're in the spotlight. You really are. You're in the spotlight. There's that lion's pride with the Six of Swords. So two sixes right in a row. So that is about balance and harmony, leaving something behind. Uh, so this could be like that energy of uh, humility, you know, where the things that have been very hard and challenging and difficult patterns inside of relationships, uh, egoic patterns, you're leaving a lot of that behind. The worst is behind you. Uh, this I'm feeling this energy of other people like and now I'm getting the message that there were people that just didn't want to see you shine. They were trying to dim your light. Not going to happen. And the page of pentacles. So something new. Some of you could be thinking about going back to school. The pages, uh, this represents the energy of fall. And uh, we're like, I'm creating this video and channeling these messages during fall, the end of the fall season. So something new that you're going to be creating it's earth energy, so it's related to things in the physical world. Some of you could be starting a new job, a new project, thinking about going back to school. You could be moving, even um, somebody younger than you that you could be dealing with, and the seven of wands. So yes, uh, this is about like um, knowing that you have the higher ground. You don't have to show up to every argument that you are attending or that you're invited to attend. You don't have to show up to all of the arguments, but if you do, this is about having courage. Like, look, he's on this dragon and he knows that he has the higher ground. Now, because the 10 of cups was the jumper, it's a significator, it's important in this reading. You know what I mean? This is an important energy. So I think we're actually gonna leave that off to the side. Um, so the six of wands with the seven of wands, and we get the Four of Swords. So yeah, this is where um, this month is a time uh, for processing, integration, and sort of um, allowing yourself to heal from the more challenging times. Uh, the light is returning to your life. You are in a place where you have better people around you, um, better situations around you. You're creating this and the King of Swords, beautiful. So your own energy. This is where I love this. You, you have a mastery over your mind now. I feel as though part of the message here, uh, messages, right, uh, have been from your spiritual team. You've been um, really connecting with spirit. You've been really um, eliminating drama from your life because we see the Leo energy, we see the six of wands and the seven of wands. So this is all Leo. And this can signify that there has been drama in your life, uh, but you're really overcoming that. And now 
it's it's starting with your own mind and with your connection to your crown chakra because the king wears a crown so this is where you know you've eliminated a lot of the drama in your life um and perhaps there's been people that you've left behind that's the six of swords is leaving people behind leaving situations behind that were you know, challenging to a point where uh, they were unhealthy. It's leaving behind the unhealthy things. So your mental health is definitely improving, Gemini. Uh, this is where you now have a mastery over your own mind. Very logical. This could be somebody in your life that's really been helping you, but I see this as you. This is you here. Uh, you know, just sitting in your knowing, really. Um, it's very logical. It's where in the past, perhaps there was so much, um, with all of the fire, there was uh, a lot of passion, um, like determination. It was like, who's going to win the game? Um, a lot of game playing, a lot of drama, and you have exited from that. You've walked away from it. And this month you're going to do some more healing and, but more so processing and integrating. Like what have these lessons meant to you? What have these people shown you about your own nobility, your valor, how courageous you are, how you can rise above the drama? Uh, I'm feeling like there was a, a lot of pettiness around you and you're totally rising above it. The dragon comes in for you to help you be empowered. Um, it's interesting because you have angels and dragons with you. And I love that because the angels are more gentle. Yes, they're protectors and they're guardians, um, but they sort of, they whisper more and they send you messages, right? Whereas the dragons, you feel their breath of fire and the dragons help you to really stand in your power, use your fire. It's air and fire. So it's Gemini and then your opposite sign is Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season as I'm filming this, but it's showing up as Leo. So a lot of this has to do with your inner child. And this is where you're doing a lot of inner child healing. So like these relationships, these situations, um, for some of you, this has been about a partner, a love relationship like um, a soulmate, a karmic partner, even a twin flame. And for others of you, it's soul family. You know, it's family. It's uh, around people and things that you've really loved that have been really helping you to grow. Um, and now like you have this humility to where you won't behave like that to other people. Um, because the King of Swords is coming out over or under this page of Pentacles, for some of you, you've been dealing with people who were less mature than you, who have less wisdom than you. Uh, Aquarius energy here. So I'm seeing Leo Aquarius. Um, Leo Aquarius is coming out very strongly in this reading. And that's sort of, it's an interesting axis, the Leo Aquarius axis, because it's about creativity um, service to humanity versus kind of service to self. And I feel as though you're really on a mission here. You know, um, there is something greater that you're trying to do. So the page could represent people in your life that have been great catalysts for change inside of your life. You're seeing where, you know, be humble because you're further along on your journey than many other people are. And these may have been people that, you know, and situations that you, there was so much love. You really, really cared for them but they they simply aren't um as evolved as you you know and um but at the same time there's been pain around it uh to where now you're going to be able to integrate and process a lot of that bottom of the deck was the sun okay with the eight of cups so another card of moving on uh but it's all blessed so the sun is there it's at the bottom, right? It's the undercurrent. You're being uh, driven forward by the light, abundance, clarity, vitality, another card of Leo. You really could be dealing with a Leo. Um, and this is where it's painful, but you leave these situations and things behind. And underneath that was temperance. So this is where these are relationships and people in situations where it's like water and oil don't mix. 
but you work with them anyway, and then you create something new. So this is where you take the good and the bad, the polarity, the duality, two very different energies, and you work with them. Uh, and so it's your own light and shadow. And a lot of times these situations are reflections of our own shadow, of our shadow self, and you emerge with wings right? You emerge with wings. So a lot of people see this as Gabriel, uh, but that there is transformation. There's been an alchemical marriage from within you, but it's all blessed. You get the sun at the bottom. That's the highest blessing that there is. So whatever it is that Gemini is sort of leaving behind, um, you know, just know that they're, that, uh, these are things that, um, were there to serve you. So even if there's been pain around these things, uh, know that it's helped you to get more, um, I'm feeling like your mental health. It was for your mental health and for, like I said, your crown chakra, more of a higher activation of your crown chakra. So that's, the crown chakra symbolizes like our right to know. It's our right to have true information. Uh, so this is, that's why like the King of Swords is so intelligent. You know, he has so much information. He knows things and it's from a, a logical perspective. So he has the sword of truth and that's what everything that you've been through this year. And let's say even last year, um, even the past six years, because you got two sixes here. So over, it's been maybe a six year cycle for you. Uh, it's really activated uh, your truth. And again, the crown chakra is you have a right to know. So a lot of truth has been revealed to you. And that's where the page of pentacles comes in. You know, that sort of energy of autumn, that earth energy of like, okay, now what do I do with this? Really interesting. So let's pull you a few oracle cards from the wisdom of Avalon. This was uh, Colette Baron Reed's very first deck and um it's a powerful deck and then i have more tarot uh all right the cards are all flipped i have more tarot that we're going to pull from as well and then i've got one more oracle card uh, oracle deck after this so i'm kind of saving the best for last with regards to the oracle so all right thank you spirit please help me guide gemini regarding this reading yep beautiful. You get the stag. It really has put you in this position of leadership. And that's the king of swords. You know, he is a leader. Um, Aquarian energy is about the future, pr progress. Um, and the stag says pride and leadership. And so this kind of goes back to uh, the full... Um, the first quarter moon in Leo about your pride. So there is this sort of energy of, yes, be, pri be proud of yourself. Um, you are now a leader. You're, you know, got this king status, a mastery um, with the truth and power and integrity. He is in so much integrity. He's wise counsel. He's a, a lawyer. He's a judge even. So I'm seeing him more as a judge here. So your discernment is like totally on point. Uh, really, you have great discernment now and you are a leader and you can stand strong and be proud of yourself. Look at his antlers. You know, that's very, very wise. The more, the bigger and the more antlers there are, the older and the wiser the stag is. So you're showing up as like a leader inside of your own family, inside of your community, your group, all of that. So uh, keep that sense of humility with you you know, because it's going to take you a long way. Um, there's, that's why I was saying like, people are really going to see you and celebrate you. And the people who are no longer there are no longer there for a reason. Pay them no mind. Uh, that eight of cups energy of moving on the six of swords energy of moving on. It's night. It's been painful for her. This is mental pain. The eight of cups is emotional pain, but you're, you're celebrated now. And that's from the people who were there sort of cheering you on the whole time, or these are new connections in your life. The page of pentacles could indicate that you have new connections in your life, new people in your life. And with pentacles, it's like you can build together together. 
You can learn from each other. There's like so much uh, positive potential here. So let's check the bottom of the deck. Um, and also this month, you know, with the holidays, the holy days, Christmas, Hanukkah, Yule, the solstice, the 12-12 portal, make sure that you rest because you're still integrating a lot of this and you could be doing this while you're sleeping. Um, you know, for some of you, you may really enjoy the snow. So if it snows, like maybe just getting out there, I'm seeing you making snow angels for some of you um, because of the celestite and that girl is sort of laying in the snow. So something about play because of this Leo energy that's coming out, get into your inner child and have so, some fun. The King of Swords can be rather serious, you know, he's sort of... Um, Emo he leaves the emotions kind of behind. He's just focused on, you know, what's right, um, what what has to be done. You know, he's very logical. But the Leo energy on the other side of the Aquarius axis is about the inner child and having fun. So I am seeing you, um, I'm seeing snow angels for you. Um, and that may be something that you really like as a child, you really loved making snow angels, or maybe, maybe you don't live in a cold climate, but, um, I don't know. It means something for, for a few of you at the bottom of the deck. Yes. This is what I was saying about your truth, the lady in the lake. So you did not get this sword for nothing. Um, the lady in the lake is connected to, you know, the, the sword in the stone, um, and that was, you know, the sword that only the most noble, the most noble of knights could take that sword out of that stone. And that's Excalibur, the sword of all swords. So it says absolute truth, courage, self-respect and responsibility. It's a number eight, which is connected into that Leo energy of strength. So uh, this you you are royalty. For those Geminis that I'm reading for, you have a royal bloodline. You have royal past lives. So know that and um, stay with that humility and that sense of being humble uh, because it's so high level. The King of Swords, yes, he does have absolute truth. He really does. And this Lady of the Lake, the masculine and the feminine here, there could be a divine counterpart, uh, that a twin flame that's in your field. I don't know that I see them necessarily in your physical world, but they're they're in the etheric realm um, because that Ten of Cups was a jumper. You know, this may be uh, what's what's in the in the ethers right now that you're going to be anchoring into the physical in 2022 um, because we see the perfect match here, the masculine and the feminine. Um, but you have this this absolute truth that's with you, uh, this integrity. So anybody that hasn't been honoring that this month, you may still be leaving some of that stuff behind some of those people behind situations behind, um, have the courage to do it because, um, with the page of pentacles, there will be something new for you. There'll be something new and it'll be, you know, something that you can get to work on rather quickly. Amazing, amazing energy. Um, underneath the lady in the lake was forgiveness. So that's a message for some of you. Yes, there may be some people that maybe they are going to want your forgiveness. Um, but even if they don't ask for it, you know, that's a gift that you give to yourself. It's the way that you're able to make peace with the past. All right, so let's pull some more tarot for you. And uh, your message has been so straightforward that I am probably going to pull from like one extra deck. I've got a, a deck waiting for you up here. But since this message has been sort of fast, um, I may get you an extra message. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. Advice for Gemini. Again, my, I had the cards upside down. This is so interesting. Taurus uh, just got this, goddess of air. So your energy, and here's, um, you know, again, 
look, you can't make this up. You know, King of Swords and the Goddess of Air. There's definitely a divine counterpart, but also we see her um, as like a white winged uh, sort of owl shapeshifter. So about your wisdom, she's a white witch here. In this deck, the goddess and the goddess is the queen, but uh, she's a goddess, so they have messages for you. And we see the shooting star there. So this is about dreams coming true. So one of your advice messages is to make a wish, stay in your heart space, connect with your dreams and your wishes because they want you to know that you have wishes coming true. That's like Libra energy. And then we get three of pentacles and mastery. So these are your soul agreements. Um, seek out those people that you can work with in a positive way. The, this, these are your collaborations with other people. Um, you know, if you've been burned in the past, uh, don't be afraid to uh, find new connections of people to work with. The power of three is here. It's pentacles, so it's related into this page of pentacles. I see new connections coming in for you. Really positive people, even if you already have like a few people that you want to work with and that you trust, uh, know that that is going to continue. Keep doing that spirit wants you to keep collaborating with other people you've made agreements with people prior to incarnating like hey we're going to work together we're going to create something really fabulous and you get the emperor of the father amazing so the advice is also this is your leadership you really are like you're coming up as a leader here look at that that's amazing you know um the 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 king of swords your energy of air but then you get the king of all kings the emperor is all of the kings combined king of cups king of pentacles king of wands king of swords he's all of them combined uh the father energy is coming out so for some of you uh there's father healing and that's some of that forgiveness that we saw you know that for some of you you're having an opportunity to heal your own inner masculine is something that I'm seeing because we see all this energy with the Leo of the inner child. Um, but you're really going to be in, uh, they want you to be in your own personal seat of power here to take action, to take charge. You're a leader. So whatever you have going on, uh, put yourself in the spotlight. Maybe you've been too humble. Maybe you've, you know, kept yourself too small. Um, so don't be afraid to shine. Step up. That's the advice from spirit. Step up. You've got this goddess and then you've got the father energy of the emperor. Um, and he has all of the animals with him. You know, he's got the eagle. He's got um, the tree spirits or the dryad. He has his own antlers, right? So um with the deer and with all animals that have antlers and this, you know, figure, uh, this man having antlers, that's, uh, the antlers are always pointed up toward the heavens. So that's your connection to spirit. Like I was feeling your, your crown chakra is so important. It right now, your crown chakra is the most important. You have pentacles energy. So it's showing where you're grounded, but you have, um, you know, it's super important. This is also about abundance. The father, the emperor, he's the most abundant, you know, king uh, or energy of the masculine in the whole tarot deck. So being in your personal seat of power, stepping up as a leader, allow yourself to shine and be celebrated and be seen. Move away from anything that's been trying to dim your light and keep you small because this is where your success is, Gemini. It's such a beautiful energy. Um... Wow, I really love your reading. I feel like, um, Gemini, you always get good readings, you know? You always, I, I don't know, I there's I have such a strong connection with Gemini, um, but you've had really good readings for like the past six months, so uh, way to go. I'm so happy for you. All right, let's get you a message from Starlight Frequencies. This is a very, very special deck by Dark Moon Crystals. She's based out of Australia, so shout out to Dark Moon Crystals and Starlight Frequencies. You can find her on Instagram. And let's see what your message is. Nice, you get sacred prayer. Your prayers are powerful right now. 
uh, again, it's that crown chakra energy, first card and uh, what would be the last card, but I'm going to go to another deck. Um, sacred prayer, you get the dove, the dove of peace, the dove of ascension, the olive branch. So that's a message for some of you. Uh, there could be people reaching out to you looking for some kind of forgiveness. Use your discernment. You know, um, forgiveness is a gift that you can give to yourself first and foremost. Definitely use your discernment. I do see that there's going to be people who may want to reconcile with you. Um, it says here, um, fill your, sorry, all you must do is ask. All you must do is ask. Call upon the ascended masters for guidance. So Taurus had angels with them, and you do too, but you also have the ascended masters. And look at all this air energy, all of these wings and the swords, right? Look at that. I mean, it's so powerful. It's really beautiful, Gemini. Um, you're definitely in your own element peace and sacred prayer so your prayers possess power all you need to do is ask work with the ascended masters so i already knew which deck i was going to pull from and now i'm just going to pull from it um so i wanted to get you because your reading was a bit short pardon me excuse me um ah okay um I was feeling the keepers of the light, speaking of like ascended masters. So let's get you a closing message. Um, and I just saw 3111 on the timestamp. So 3111, the numbers there. Uh, bottom of the deck for starlight frequency is infinite vastness. So I feel like this is the solstice energy of this portal into next year, the 1212 portal. Uh, here's your cosmic connection, number four. It's connected into the father energy, the four and the four. Stop playing small. That's what I was saying. I feel like some of you may have been playing small, even subconsciously, or other people were trying to make you feel guilty for being too powerful, like you're too much or some stuff like that, you know. Um, so anyway, you know what to do with that. You know what to do with those people in situations, Gemini. Give them the axe. Let them know who's boss, okay? All right, so let's get you a Keepers of the Light. So thank you to the Ascended Masters. Uh, highest and best message for Gemini. Let's call in the Ascended Masters. Okay. Ooh, you get the Miriam. So this is connected to uh, Christ and Mary Magdalene. So the story of the crucifixion and Mary Magdalene was grieving. She was deep in her grief. And the two twin, Gemini, the twins, the two twin angels that appeared uh, to Mary were the Miriam and they comforted her. And, um, and after that is when she was able to have all of these revelations about Christ and, you know, Jesus. So whether or not you believe in any of that, this is about twin angels and it's sacred vision. We see the Vesica Pisces there, right? So about zero points energy and the twins. So for some of you, this could be about a twin flame union for sure, or even if like the reading itself wasn't about your twin flame union. You still identify as twin flame. You're on twin flame journey. Uh, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. And we do see, um, I believe that's like, is that the lily? And you see the lily on the death card and they're associated with, you know, funerals and when people die. So there is uh, this energy of healing grief and of forgiving, but also that these are twin angels, you know, so twin flame, your own duality. You could have two very uh, important spirit guides, two ascended master energies that you work with. At the bottom was Hilarion. 
uh, about healing. So Hilarion was, um, it says divine healing. He's connected to the Emerald Ray of Archangel Raphael. Uh, you may be a healer. You're still doing a lot of healing on a healing journey. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. So I was saying like there's still some healing that you're doing, some integrating and processing of all of your lessons. Your light can support others. So Hilarion, um, from what I understand about him, you know, he lived in the 14th or 15th century um, and he was called to leave his home, to leave his family, to leave his home. And he went off into uh, to a foreign land like back then, you know, he traveled far and he basically retreated. It was almost like he went into like a cave and he received an enlightenment and I believe he was working with Archangel Raphael and he came out of this uh, a healer, an energy healer, a physical body healer, a spiritual counselor. He holds the Emerald Ray with him. And so then he went back home and he became a beacon of light and healing for others. So this is telling me that your pain, your grief, uh, the situations and people in your life that have brought you pain and grief and suffering and disappointment and loss are the things that are allowing you to emerge as this light and healer for others. So it is a time of healing. It's a very sacred time for you. Um, my dear Geminis, uh, the story of Christ and Mary Magdalene is perhaps important to your own journey. And this is where, like I said, Mary Magdalene was visited by these angels. They appeared to her uh, when she was there with the body of Christ. It was before he ascended. So all right, my dear Geminis, that was your message. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If you'd like to book a personal session with me or just uh, inquire about one, you can email me elizabethlight1111 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, elizabethlighttarot. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, sponsor a reading perhaps, uh, all of the um, information will be in the description box. I would love to hear from you. I would love to connect with you. Have a beautiful month of December. I love you so very much. Take really, really good care and I will see you all soon. Namaste.